Rock, report range status. Range green. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Go for main engine start. Zero and lift off. Two weeks to T zero. Today is another huge milestone for NOAA's GOES S mission. So, today we start something called encapsulation. Uh, by encapsulation, we, we actually put a container around the satellite. It's called a payload fairing. That payload fairing will protect the satellite for the first three and a half minutes of its mission. It sounds like a very short period of time, but in fact, you know, that's when we would have the maximum aerodynamic and acoustic loads on the satellite. So we're trying to protect the satellite. Right now, we really have tested everything we need to do to make sure this satellite is ready for launch. The next time we'll see this satellite is on orbit. Shooting off the launch pad like a bullet, this vehicle will rocket past the speed of sound in just over 30 seconds. If not protected, the Earth's atmosphere will rip GOES-S to pieces. But for a satellite designed only to live in the vacuum of space, life on Earth can be just as dangerous. Any exposure to dust or moisture could contaminate the satellite and destroy the mission. That's why this fairing is more than just a suit of armor. It's also a portable clean room. With encapsulation complete, it's time to call in the KMAG. This 72-wheel transport vehicle is what it takes to get this massive payload to the pad. Spacecraft hoist and mate to the launch vehicle today is a huge milestone for the whole operation. And this is the biggest integrated operation that we've had so far. And it goes all day, it goes all night from transport and then hoist and mate, and it'll go into the evening tonight as they finish closeouts. After working through the night, LSP and ULA are almost there. Just 150 feet to go, straight up. Obstacles, we do have obstacles on the decks, on the K-Mag, so watch your step, walking area, trip hazards, and then uh, remember about your hard hats, chin straps. Any other questions? All right, let's go do this. There's a lot of moving parts involved with processing a spacecraft, processing a rocket, and then bring them together for a launch. There, is, there are a lot of people involved and there are a lot of moving parts. We have a lot of hard timelines that we have to meet and deadlines that we have to meet and everybody works as hard as they can to meet those deadlines and sometimes we have to work around the clock to meet those. We've reached a critical point on the road to T0. GOES-S is now mated to the Atlas V. We've been working for several years integrating this thing and completed that now. We've got the satellite on top and we're ready to go. With all major milestones complete, this rocket is ready to roll.